Welcome, Thunder fans, to the very first episode of The Thunderstorm. I'm Walter Agnich. And I'm Audrey Martinez. Chris Paul, another great point guard. This guy right here at 6'4", the best athlete you're going to find at that position. This guy has another gear. Watch this elevation over the entire... Well, Audrey, it's been quite the long offseason. You know, most offseasons you expect to get some sort of break, but not here in Oklahoma City. What with the big trade for Victor Oladipo and uh, Kevin Durant leaving for uh, Golden State and Russ resigning, how did you uh, able to manage this offseason? Well, I was always a Kevin Durant fan, but um, I think that we have the fan base and players that will be able to move on just fine without him. Yeah, we certainly hope so. The real NBA GM came out with their poll for the who's going to favorite the Western Conference. The Thunder apps came in fourth, which is a little bit shocking to people. What do you think about that? I wasn't surprised. Well, neither was I, but a little a little bit off-putting. But if, if you just had to give a couple of keys to what you think the Thunder are going to have to do to be successful in the season to finish in the fourth place, what would those be? Uh, I think as long as um, we keep having high scoring games and um, great teamwork, um, I think that we'll, if we can continue to do what we've been doing, I think that we'll do great. Yeah, just to, just to piggyback right, I'm just going to give you a quick three keys to what I feel the Thunder need to be successful. Victor Oladipo is going to have to average 20 plus points this game. Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and, and Dion Waiters leaving, that's going to be a lot of points. It's going to have to be made up with Victor Oladipo and Steven Adams. So the first key is every game, Victor Oladipo is going to have to average at least 20 points a game to help fill that deficit. Next, Steven Adams is going to have to finish second in the All-NBA team. He's progressed so much. He put Tim Duncan in retirement in the Western Conference semifinals. Very proud moment for him. Is he going to be able to make that next jump up to be that elite center? And the third and final is, is this bench going to be able to step up and produce points? We see it all the time, the first team, last season make a huge run, be able to get a big lead in the second team, not be able to make it. I'm expecting that the second team needs to start jumping up, getting points, which is why Sam Presti went out, signed Alex Sabrinas in the offseason, went and got Ersan Ilyasova, and also Kyle Singler is now starting to step up with the preseason having such a great three-point shoot. It could be a really exciting group in Minnesota as Payne comes up with a steal, the shovel. That's a Thunder fan, London. London, thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks, man. Okay, let's just get down into it. If I had to ask you one word to describe Kevin Durant, London, what would it be? That's a tough one. Probably go selfish. Selfish? Why yeah. would Why would you think selfish? Because of what he said about us like what, two weeks ago. Yeah. And about San Francisco being a better city. Yeah. Uh, better city is an unselfish team. I just think everything he said so far is just selfish. I would completely agree. If I had to come up with my own word, and Maybe this is a little bit borrowed from Russell Westbrook, but I would say cupcake. Uh, what he is doing is cupcake in the preseason. I saw that nice block that Timothy got on him, and I just thought uh, that would. Yep. yep, and that SI cover story, found out what the, the cupcake picture meant, and I know all Thunder fans are excited. Okay, London, um, if we had to, uh, if you had to say some of the things you're excited for this uh, NBA season, what would it be? Said, I would say excited about get the energy back here in Oklahoma City. I think everybody's been kind of down since Kevin Durant left. Um, see all in depot play. I love watching him at the Magic. And just see how we, how good we do this season. Yeah, just to piggyback off, I'm very excited to see all depot. He's basically, to me, more like a, a Westbrook Jr. Is he going to be able to take off this season? It's going to be extremely high flying, great defense. Is Andre Robertson really going to be the real deal? Is he going to be in the starting lineup? If so, what is this points per game going to look like? And just how this Thunder team is really going to gel is going to be interesting. Okay, London, last question. Where do you think the Thunder are going to finish this NBA season? Third or higher. Third or higher. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'd have to unfortunately disagree with you a little bit. I'm going to have them more in the fifth or sixth range. But, you know, it's great to be optimistic. They definitely could yep. finish it. The West is completely wide open besides the first team, which will not be named. But, anyways, thanks for joining with us on the show today. Thanks, sir. <laughs> I want them dead presidents. I, I wanna pull up. Wanna pull up. Head spin. <laughs> get it, get flat. I got six jobs. I don't get tired. I don't get, I don't get tired. I don't okay, get Audrey, who is the Thunder player you're lo most looking forward to seeing this season? I'm really excited to see how Russell Westbrook and Steve Adams are going to lead our team this year um, with Kevin Durant leaving, as you mentioned. 
really excited to see how far we can go and hopefully we can still get to the finals. That's two very exciting players for this team, two stars for the team, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the team that you're most looking forward to seeing play the Thunder this season? Well, I've always had um, not a big fan of the Spurs. And as you also mentioned, Tim Duncan's retirement, kind of interested to see how that will go when we play against them and they no longer have him on their team. Yes, unfortunately, they still have their head coach, Greg Popovich, and Kawhi Leonard, who is a superstar in the NBA. But it, it'll definitely be a great game. Be interesting to see how they match up today. Westbrook, oh, Miles and Allen throws it down. Boy, give him a... I mean, attacking and then just posterizing everybody. Just hammering down the one-hand dunk. Well, Audrey, the first game of the season is Wednesday against the Philadelphia 76ers. What do you think the final score of that's going to be? Well, I definitely think we're going to win. I think it'll be a pretty close game. I'm saying maybe 105 to 96 Thunder win. Yeah, just to piggyback right off of you, I think the Thunder are going to get it done. A little bit higher scoring. I think Thunder are going to take it 112 to 90. Unfortunately, Philadelphia fans just found out the number one pick's not going to be playing in Ben Simmons. Joel Embiid is going to be his first game. We see those highlights of him playing pretty well in the preseason. Do we really know how good he is going to be? Is he going to be worth that pick that Philadelphia ran? And, you know, it's just a combination of the culture of Philadelphia. They just lost their GM firing him. And just stacking up all these draft picks, are they eventually going to be able to mash and be able to make a winning team? Now, versus on the Thunder side, we've got new culture, new team coming in. They're really focusing on defense. That's why they brought in the new assistant coach from Orlando, Stephen Adams. They're going to ask for him to be more of an offensive presence in this game. You're also going to look at a bench that you're not really used to seeing on players that are going to get big minutes, such as Josh Houston. Cameron Payne is still going to be out with the broken foot, so we, uh, we're not going to be able to see him for a few more weeks. What's Russell going to do? Is he going to be able to try to be a macho man and put the team on his back like we saw when Kevin got hurt, which necessarily didn't work because they missed the playoffs? Or are we going to see him, the triple-double machine that got over 15 triple-doubles last season? Uh, it, it just it all depends on what Billy Donovan's going to do with this offense. It's very exciting to see because we knew Kevin last year was a guy that made his own offense, so that way you didn't see very many offensive sets. This is going to be a completely different Thunder team, Billy Donovan's actually going to run offensive plays, and that's what's shown in the preseason with Kyle Singler being able to get the big threes with Andre Robertson in the limited amount of time for him to be able to get some offense. Victor Oladipo being able to crash the offensive rebounds. It's just going to be a very exciting game, and I think a lot of Thunder fans are going to be interested in watching this one. All right, Thunder fans, tune in next time. The game tips off 7 o'clock in Philadelphia. For the Thunderstorm, I'm Walter. And I'm Audrey. See you next time.